Hello beautiful people and welcome to the channel. I guess this is the first video that I'll be uploading but I'm very excited to share this video with you. It is going to be a thrift store haul. Not all items here are thrifted um, but most of them are if you just some noises of people working around the house today so it just is what it is. Um, I guess this video is just me showing uh, you what the options are out there thrift-wise, like it is literally my favorite thing to do is to go with a friend and go thrifting but I do have some new items as well so it's probably half and half um, I probably have 10,000 more like clothing items that I can show you but um, yeah like this item thrifted, I thrifted it for like 20 bucks which is like 20 rand South African which is not a lot of money and I tied out it myself that's why I lost some yellow bits but we'll, we will be working with it, it's fine um, very excited to show these things to you and um, I will be speaking in a different video on how sustainability and spirituality go hand in hand in my personal opinion. Um, taking care of the earth means taking care of yourself um, because if you do it in the universe, we are the universe, the universe is us, everything is connected. I think you like to take care of your body as much as you'd like to take care of the universe. So, with all that being said, I'm very excited to show this to you guys. This is one of my favorite items I've ever thrifted. Um, it is basically like a button-down old-school blouse. I've seen a lot of like teachers wear this back in the day. I've seen like a lot of moms wear this, and um, a lot of older generation wear this. But this is just a button-down blouse. I actually wear this more like a cardigan. I just throw it over if my shorts are a bit short or if I just cover up a bit more or if I need some colour I usually like to do monochromatic outfits and then I just pump one of these over it is super easy, it's super flowy and it doesn't keep you too warm but it does, it does give you a bit more coverage which I really enjoy especially coming up to the autumn now um, or fall whatever you say and um, I got this in a different shade I like going to thrift stores and finding things like this this is for example a large it's not too big to the point where it falls off of my shoulders, but it is like two sizes bigger than I normally am. So, the next item I love so very much is absolutely adorable. Um, it's these little top shop dungarees. I do you believe they are vintage? No, I don't think they're vintage. No, they're not the cleanest because I've actually worn them. Um, but they are super cute. They just go into shorts. They're like a floral outfit. Sometimes I'll even pair this underneath this or over it. Doesn't matter. It just depends how I'm feeling. But this is a very cute. I uh, love it in the summer and you can even wear it uh, in the colder months if you just put some leggings underneath it or whatever. But I love just finding gems and stuff and usually you can find them online as well. Um, there's a big thrifting community on like Instagram and Poshmark and stuff like that, but I do live in South Africa, which we do not have Poshmark, but this is a skirt I got from Z's Thrift Hanger or something, I'll link her down below, and it is absolutely beautiful, it's just country road, it was such good quality, I even got it on sale, she usually posts sales all the time, and I absolutely love it, I think it's so pretty, it's such a nice colour, and it's actually long enough for me, I'm quite a tall human being, so I really, really, really like this skirt and it goes with the logic you can wear this in the summer and the winter this is something i could pair with boots if i like to with like a full neck or i can wear it in the summer with crop top and one of the best things i've probably found i found a few designer items but um it's not really what it's about it's actually about the fit of the jean which i really like this is armani jeans um high-waisted white jeans i don't own any other white jeans um but it is so cute it's high waisted i've gained a bit of weight since a few months ago it is what it is we'll deal with it it's fine but at least i now have pants that fit me now if you go to the thrift store this is probably an outfit i would put together is those white jeans and this scarf now the scarf might look very plain to you you can use it as a hair wrap you can braid it into your hair if you like you can wear it around your neck I don't wear it around my neck, but you can. Um, this is something I typically would turn into a shirt or a top, I guess. Yes, a top. So I would normally uh, tie the top there. I would just make a little knot real fast. Noise. And then I would literally put it over here and I would put I would attach this to a necklace of mine, um, not necessarily these ones because they are quite fragile so you might want to get a stronger chain, um, but it creates a very cute like, outfit, it's really nice. You can also even 
turn her around and wear it like this. I do feel like that needs to sag a bit more throughout the day, which I don't. It just enters down and you keep having to pull up. So I prefer this method way more. It's way more secure, sort of one of my favorite finds. And it's so pretty, it's such pretty. It's an easy way to add color to your outfits. This is also one of those things that I absolutely love. You can put in your hair, you can wear this on the top. These are go usually for like five rand, so I usually stock up on them. A next item I really, really like, if I literally just wear maxi dresses in the summer, um, I'm quite tall yet again, so really just, it's such an easy outfit. Um, this is just a cotton on dress, um, yeah, it's from cotton on, and it is basically just a tie-dye dress, which is super pretty, super flowy, it's got this beautiful neckline, some fun detail at the back, and it has got some um, slits down the bottom for easier walking access I guess and it's just a really pretty I got this at U-turn for like 60 bucks so I recommend thrifting thrifting me is all about finding gems or finding your style using things that are from all eras I guess because if you go into a store it's basically what's trending most of the time if you go want to be sustainable it's sometimes more expensive to support sustainable businesses but I definitely recommend you do um, if you can um, but otherwise thrifting is an inexpensive way to um, be more sustainable and support the community support charity shops and it can get expensive don't get me wrong I've seen some places really rack their prices but maybe take a trip see what you get it's really fun now now one of my favorite pieces this is gonna be perfect for winter with like a little cropped cream like jersey or something this is gonna be really nice so if you are looking for amazing trousers look no further the thrift store has at the mail section which those are universal we all know that um these are the most mustard trousers you've ever seen and they are glorious let me just button it up they've got the pleats They've got pockets. These pockets are so deep, by the way. Spent some money, apparently. And got belt loops, which is very important to me. I like having a belt just to tie the outfit together. And they are cuffed at the bottom. They're long enough. And these are absolutely perfect. They also have a really fun detail over here, which I really like. Now, this is an item I'm not too sure about. I might try wearing it once, but I'll probably give it to someone else, which also is thrifting. Good gift giving. Who thought? <laughs> now this is a snake print, Kelso old school dress, and I don't know where this person went, but they were going there. I think it's a slit at the bottom. I don't think this is my style. In fact, I know this is not my style. So I've been trying recently really hard to get rid of stuff. If I don't need it. It's not been going very well, but I will make a video on why that is important. So I think I'm gonna give this dress away. Damn it. It's such a nice dress. Mm. Yeah, I don't think this is for me, but I know exactly who would love this dress. So just made a little gift there. Okay, so thrifting wise, what else can you find? What else can I tie into spirituality for you, friend? Just in any way. This I found at like a very random thrift store um, close to my grandparents house and I absolutely love it. So the way I would use is this basically to use this <laughs> oh man I use this basically to cleanse other crystals so what I would do is I would put my sunlight tower in here and then I would add a few more crystals into here to collectively cleanse it just so that it's all together like there's something i would put on my altar this is something i would do like little rituals in so this is a really cool little stainless steel thing i don't know what this is used for probably a candle holder of some sorts i don't know but um, it's a really cool also if you want to go to a thrift store and you're doing a lot of candle magic or you like keeping your jewelry together i don't know um but this is super cool i love the texture as you can see there is some candle wax in here that looks quite gross but it's just candle wax on it um it's got flowers on it it's got a nice texture you can usually find 
20 of these in the thrift store like they are so prevalent and i do believe that this was used for capitals like, i do believe that's what they were used for but you can use this basically for anything um anyway guys this is also another video in the making i've got a lot of ideas but this is a little manifestation box uh, this is just a normal um box like metal tin i got from the thrift store and uh, it's basically a british songbird Blah, blah blah it's really pretty it's in the shape of a heart and this i do amazing things with um i needed something to keep my crystals and stuff together my tarot cards and this was supposed to be it but it's kind of keeping my incense together now which i guess is also very useful just had a lipstick there too so it's quite fragrant i don't know so this is all my incense and some of my crystals some of my crystals are in here and it basically looks like this i can just close it and the top i've got like selenite and i've got my little necklaces and things in here so this was a really cool um find i wish the top also closed maybe i'll put some tape on it or maybe i'll diy something but i think it's how the alcohol is age but it's mine now this is the breaking habit of being yourself and lose your mind and create a new one from dr Joe spindler I watched The Jane Goddess and she spoke of this book. I also saw it and I was very drawn to it and I struggled to get into it. It wasn't really my first preference in reading. It's very science based which is quite interesting. Um, but it took me a while to get into it but now I am loving it. It is so good and I highly recommend you read it. If you've not read it, you've not heard of Dr. Joe Spencer, definitely check it out. It is a really cool book. It actually just shows you like what manifestation is, how you can create your own reality and I've really enjoyed it. So the next book I want to show you guys is very specific. Not everyone, not everyone's gonna enjoy the book, but this is something I'm very interested in, and I wanted to know it from the source, I guess. Um, that's more scientific based, more fact based than like your Pinterest video about this topic. This is uh, Buckland's complete book of witchcraft from Raymond Buckland, and it is a thicky book. This was quite expensive, but I do think that's going to be absolutely worth it. Um, I'm very interested to see what it's about. It actually tells you not to skip sections. And I mean, I've also tried the pillars, like little spell draws and things. I totally do believe they work. But um, this is more fat based. This is more like what it's about. Like, where did it come from? Which is really interesting. So, this is not the most exciting book I've ever read. Not gonna lie. But um, I enjoy it. It's quite interesting. The next thing I bought in the same trip that I bought that witchcraft book was I felt this need to buy a new tarot deck but I was looking for something specific. I'm very big on pictures when it comes to tarot. I know it's all about the meanings and things but I'm very picture based because I do um, do tarot card readings intuitively so I do like to like know that I like cards, that I enjoy cards. For example there is a tarot deck that I don't like and it pains me to use it. I don't use it. I don't like it. And I'm less likely to do tarot if I have a tarot deck that I don't like. But um, this is a really cool one. This is a bit different. This is the Celtic Tarot from Christopher Hughes, illustrated by Chris Down. It's a very blue, it's a very green. The outside is inviting. I love reading tarot with this deck. Also, it doesn't have the Empress and the Emperor, it has the Mother and Father, which I think is quite interesting. Um, and it is absolutely beautiful. It also is not necessarily the same um, illustrations as in the right away takes but i really really enjoy this i also would like to say that if you are interested in this tarot deck um the black like, tarot bottle it comes with or instruction manual whatever this is really thorough like this is so thick it explains to you exactly what up it shows you the picture it shows you what it's about it is super cool there is they do sell tarot bibles but i feel like this one is very useful and it's really cool i just want to show you guys these i've had them for a while but i do think they do really make a difference in my tarot card reading so if you do like reading tarot the work your oracle work your light oracle cards they are amazing everyone i've ever read for that i've used these cards in they really enjoy it they love it they are so pretty um this truly changed the way I read tarot. I love clarifying them, I love having better answers, and I really love just the aesthetic of it all because it's really beautiful. The next one is the Knowledge Cards. They are super cool as well. 
This, I'm a less likely to use if I'm reading tarot, but I still do enjoy it. Like, I like to clarify with these. I'll pull like two cards of them um, if I'm, do, I'm doing like a tarot reading. Um, but otherwise, if I had to choose between the two, between the two, I would definitely choose this one. I think this one is a bit more expensive than this one, but like, mm -hmm. worth it. Super worth it. Now, let's get to something very random, but I. If we are talking about like the witch and stuff, I'm the biggest baby witch you have ever met. Like I'm reading the things, doing the things, doing rituals as much as I possibly can. I'm definitely not perfect at it, um, but I'm definitely more like a green witch than anything. I really like gardening, I really like speaking to swell, I'm an earth sign. I really like gardening and truly believe that it does have to do with spirituality, is getting your hands in soil and growing things and seeing the miracles happening. That brings me so much joy. So I'm just gonna show you guys my seedlings. These are not the only ones I've bought, but like, like how cool is that? It's a cucumber. It's like a cucumber melon. It's like this big. Very excited. <laughs> this is great. And then like the golden sweet peas monstute. Monch two peas. They're flipping yellow. So cool. These tomatoes grow up to half a kg. I want a half a kg tomorrow. These are the red pear ox hearts. Anyway guys, this is the last thing that I'm really excited about. Um, it's a funky fungi. Fungi. Whatever. It's a golden oyster grow kit. And all I have to do is like slit it and um, all I have to do is make incision here and water it and it'll grow cool mushrooms. Which is easy to use like in veggie meals and stuff and this is absolutely delicious i have had a mushroom broken and i destroyed it accident um because i opened it up completely i think it really needs to stay moist <laughs> but yeah this is really cool i really like it super fun super delicious i don't mean you grow some it's really cool so anyway guys welcome to the most random haul you've ever seen but um, i hope you will stay around and i will see you in my next one bye